Hey guys, Turtle here, and before I start off this macho reel, I want to recommend you a page called My Likes. Before you wonder why I'm even recommending it and making, yeah, an advertisement for it, I myself are making make money of doing like those little promotion videos in the beginning of my videos, and I'm saving up money for a new headset, so that will also help you guys and you guys can do the same and also earn some money with it so i think it's a great chance so you can re connect your mile ah uh, oh god i can't talk at all you can connect your youtube tumblr or twitter with my likes and yeah earn money on a really easy way so but now let's get into this mod so this mod adds huge trees to the game I thought I saw one over there before. Yeah, so they naturally spawn from time to time, and those are just yeah usual trees, but in a huge way. So those will always have this normal chunk and normal leaves and everything. But the great thing is you can also make custom trees. So let's say we want a tree with eyes in the yeah, at the bottom and maybe lemon and uh, melon instead of leaves. So then we just put our ice on the ground on top of that melon. Then obsidian. This is why yeah why the mod recognizes if it's a custom tree or not. So that doesn't mean anything else. And then a sapling on top. Now if we right click it. It will lag for a second, but then generate the tree. So, as you can see, the chunk is out of ice, which melts, which is a bad idea to do, but anyways. So, and the leaves are out of anything else you want. In this case, melons. I never tried if you can also like use different colored wool, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try. So, just always do what you want for the chunk on the bottom, then what you want instead of the leaves, then one obsidian on top, and then a sapling. And you can just grow it the normal way with bone meal, just like any other saplings. And then it will generate one of those huge trees. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any other questions, like installing is pretty easy, you just put all the files you got, those class files, into your minecraft.jar, delete the meta info folder, and you're basically done. You can also write in the comments if you want a tutorial how to install the mods the next time I make a video about a mod too. If you recommend it, I could do that, but I don't think it's necessary, especially if it's that easy to install, but yeah, just tell me in the comments, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, it would be awesome if you could leave a like and a rating, which is basically the same, so why am I saying both of those? I have no idea. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.